I call the Honourable Member Basata Sam Lotu Ayinga, Tolo Falava. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker, and it, uh, good evening to uh, you and my fellow colleagues here. But before I talk on the Copyright Amendment Bill, sir, may I um, just acknowledge uh, the service that we held tonight in this chamber, um, the dedication and unveiling of commemorative plaques for Afghanistan, Timor-Leste, and missions in support of peace, which are um, to my right in the chamber, and to acknowledge those that have given their lives so that we can stand in this chamber and debate issues that matter to New Zealanders and their families who are here tonight to um, commemorate the sacrifices of our armed forces overseas. But, sir, I'll, I'll return to the bill, and as has already been stated across this chamber, there is great support for this bill. I'm glad that the Minister is in, in the House um, to hear the, the uh, deliberations and the, the submissions, oral submissions of members on this, the first reading of the bill. And as has already been stated, um, this bill really imposes a temporary ban on parallel importation of films for commercial purposes, not personal use of films, for five months um, from the 31st of October this year. And, sir, given the two five-year periods uh, under which the ban has already been imposed in previous legislation, I think it's welcome, given the consultative process that was conducted in February of this year, that that period is, is reduced to three years and that, um, and that the, um, the, uh, the, the importation for five months from the first release of the films to the public has been reduced from nine months. So, sir, it is a commendable uh, bill. It's one that's, that we will certainly debate um, rigorously in the select committee process. It provides for the digital expansion and transition to occur in the next three years or three and a half years. And it's certainly, sir, it's certainly to be accepted that in that period, as Claire Curran and my other colleagues have stated, that we will see uh, a convergence of technology such that we will not be requiring this bill, hopefully after 2016. So I commend this bill to the House and I thank the Minister for bringing it to this uh, chamber. I call the Honourable Member Tracy Martin. Kia ora, Mr.